Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here, and this is episode 9 of Overgrown. I'd like you to meet my pet Bob, the snake. Um, inadvertently managed to pick up a snake egg when I uh, killed off a snake. And um, I right clicked it and it placed it on the ground to uh, hatch. When it hatched, it became my pet. Um, couldn't think of a better name than Bob, so Bob it is. Um, <coughs> But yeah, so it was just literally taking one of the eggs and right-clicking it on the ground, and it like kind of placed it, placed it as as, it, as if it was going to hatch. Um, so we have Bob. Uh, don't know how long Bob will hang around, but he's here at the moment. Um, done a little bit of base expanding out here. Just started to spread some dirt out so we can maybe get some livestock, some um, sheep and cows and stuff. Um, last episode we finished up with the uh, me trying to get water into this tank. Now, it's a little cheaty, but this works. Uh, I've just got a, literally a source block of water here on the top of the tank, and it keeps it full. So there is a, um, there is a config option, and it was already set. I didn't change it. Um, to allow the tank to fill from flowing water. So... Um, yeah, anyway, that's working. So we have water. The sprinkler is running. It's just, it's a little hard to see. You can just sort of see it there. But it's running. Um, this harvester does not harvest these crops. Uh, which is unfortunate because it would have been a great little way of making things work. Um, I have set up a... Uh, a, a rule in here that default is dark green so anything that's not in this list will go to dark green I've got auto eject turned on so we've got a little bit of stuff we've got a little bit of clay some sand and some coarse dirt and that's coming from the system down the bottom let's just jump down there I'll start to get poisoned as I get close so this system down here the sludge boiler is working and uh, every now and then we get a block of stuff from it. So this episode we had a few quests to get through. Um, this is the livestock part. This is what I work. I want to work on this a little bit today. Uh, and I think there's a few others around. I've completed the zombies one. And we're going to get some zombie stuff for that. And I wouldn't mind trying to get this kitchen stuff done but I don't think the kitchen's actually got any um, any quests yet so yeah unsure whether I'm going to do that one I mean it, it'll unlock it but the foundry one's the one I want as well so there seems to be quests in the foundry one so this is working well let's get into some making of items now Bob in here has been protecting all my little crafting tables that I've got set up. So starting on that, uh, let's see. This one here which I started to do, I did find a bear. I did grab some hide and now over here. Here's our hide. Now to make the crafted saddle, it's just a saddle and an iron ingot. That should get that quest. Excellent. They can go in there for now. And for that quest, we're going to get a pet amulet. I don't know what a pet amulet does, so it's really... Whoa! When you kill a manticore, there is a 1 in 4 chance of getting its egg. Use this egg to grow your own manticore pet. That would be cool. I don't know where the manticore comes from. Elephants are amazing mounts. Feed a baby elephant five cakes and it will follow you. Once equipped, you can ride them, store stuff in them, and use them to smash blocks with their tusks like a huge digger. Um, okay. Interesting. Um, so one of the other ones we need to do, which is going to give us a lot of rewards, that's probably going to be a really tough one to get done. Let's do the breeder. 
I really don't know what this does. Oh! Oh, cool. I can pack my snake away for the moment. Bob, hide in an amulet. Um, could be a little bit squeezy in there. Kind of uh, Aladdin style. So I've got a few things lined up in here. Two golden carrots, which is required for a breeder from Mine Factory Reloaded. So we've got the breeder. So MFR does an amazing job when it comes to plant and animal farms. Let's start off with the breeder, which will automatically feed your livestock for breeding. Make sure you provise the correct food source. Close. Close C and D are very close on the keyboard. So we've got the breeder. We're going to get some fences and some walls and stuff. I don't think I can claim the items. Oh, maybe I can. So the idea was that um, I was going to set up, and it's why I built this. Uh, I'm going to set up. Really not where I wanted it. I need to turn that around. So we're going to set up a an area where we can have the breeder running, which will be there. I need to put some more dirt here. And we need to put our fences up. So fences will be basically along here. How far out does it go? Yep, that's about it. Oh, I probably want to move that one more right. Oh, no, that's it. I did do it right. So, yeah, the idea being that I want to stop them getting up in there. Let's put a gating. No, not a torch. Sheesh. I want to put that in. And I'm going to get rid of this block. Okay, so I just, I'll just i put that dirt down in a second, but here's our, our area of breeding. We can bring it power in through the back here. Um, but I'm going to want to do that so they can't get out. And that will allow us to automatically breed our animals in here. So I'll need to make a little bit more cable and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, some dirt, maybe. Um, that'll do for the moment. So if I come in through here... This is going to give us power. All right, so that's got power. It's going to do its thing when it can. So just just for giggles, let's put this in here. And I kind of want the grass to spread. So we'll do that. I'm eventually going to put a second pen here. And that will come with one of the other gonna go we'll just fill this in. One of the other quests that we're about to do. Uh, one other thing I want to do is about there. Yep, cool. And you'll see why in just a second. Okay, let's head back inside the base. Uh, you can have that. And I'm just going to put the fences away for the moment. So, one of the next quests, done with them, is the chronotyper. So, what we're going to do, this nifty machine will move babies or adults from one animal pen to another. Use this hammer like a wrench. Okay, that's, that's a bit dodgy. Use the hammer like a wrench, and you can see the area each machine will work in. Very helpful. The side with the dot pulls by the way. So we want to make a chronotyper, which will be made. That's a slaughterhouse. We'll get to that one. Do, 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 there. Made like this. That's why I had the emeralds in my inventory. I'm going to use one of these factory blocks. We're going to use the chronotyper. It's probably not time. And the idea will be that it will go here. 
and the dot. Yep, so this would be set up to move babies. Oop, only had. Oh, that's right, I put the fences away. So we will set up an area. And it is night time, so let's sleep. So we'll set up an area for this to work in. And I will need fences, gate, and my cables back. Oh, cables are still there. I'm going to need to make some more, so I'm not going to be able to use that for the moment. But if we get our hammer out, that should actually be working in that area. So let's do this. Whoops. In the case of this one, I'm going to put the gate here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go across here. Awesome. So another pen and then there. All right. So once we give that power, any animal that breeds in here, the babies will get pulled over to here. And then they can be used for nefarious purposes. Nefarious purposes. Anyway, whatever. Um, let's see. In the book. Oops, I'm going to get a hammer. That's what I was saying, this. So we've got a couple of things here. We've got the auto shears, and then we've got the meat grinder. Or the slaughterhouse. Uh, auto shears is cool. We'll be able to set it up so that we can... As, as it you imagine here. Automatically shear sheep. Rancher works just like the other machines, but only takes wool from the sheep. I recommend you dye the sheep instead of the wool so they keep producing all the colours. So, if we get a rancher, and I don't think I got up this one set up to do, let's see. Oh no, I was, I was close. Rancher is two sets of shears and a bucket and some plastic pipes. So, two sets of shears. A rancher. Very nice. And when we hook this little beauty up, it's and it probably needs to go like here. So let's move our gate. Um, I'm going to put the gate here. Ranger will go there. And again, it's not ideal placement, but. It will output into a chest behind it. I'll run the cables for it underneath the ground, though, I think. I mean, worst case, I could just do this. Which, again, isn't ideal. That's a gate. Dirt. Yeah, see, they're going to be able to get through that. Like that. So yeah, that's that's not going to work. Uh, where's my configurator? What are you set up in? Okay. Oh, using the gates again. Goodness me. All right, so it will work in this area. I can place a chest at the back here. I do have a chest, which is a shock. And anything that it spits out will go into the chest. Alright. Did that activate? Yes, we're going to get some dyes for that. Eh, not really that. Oh, okay, let's just do it. Did I not get my lapis or did it go into here? Oh, right in here. That's cool. Alright, we got one factory block left. Um, I want to make the sewer. I need four bricks. Yep, had them cooking up. So the sewer is something that doesn't require power. Is going to require our pipes. And I'm thinking... There's another machine we need to get to as well, so that's 
going to happen soon. But the sewer basically collects, as you can imagine, manure um, from these pens. Once I really, I missed. Once I upgrade it a little bit, uh, you can see there are only as a one by one. So we need to go plus two on these ones. We need two plus two um, uh, upgrade thingies. So these ones, these are plus three, I think. Yeah. So what's the plus two? That would be tin. So I need six tin. So let's do that. Six tin, another two nuggets, another bit of redstone. Oops. Six tin. No, it's the other way. Two redstone. And then do I have three? Yes, I have three plastic. Excellent. Okay, so that's going to give us a couple of tin upgrades, which will effectively... Why aren't you planting? Oh, that's right, this is carrots. I don't have carrots set up to auto deposit into here. Yeah, that's some carrots. Um, one in there. One in there, so if I hold the hammer now. Alright, both these areas are now set to collect manure, sewage. So we're going to need mechanical pipe. I might have enough. Before I drown. I'm draining already. So I'm going to need some more mechanical pipe. And I want to pop it up into, I don't know, tank maybe over here. Uh, but we do need to set you to configure fluids. Pull it on pull. Same with that one. So it should pull any fluid that's in there out. Um, so yeah, we'll need to make another another couple of fluid ducts or fluid pipe things. We need a little bit of steel. I'm gonna need another bucket. All right. Also going to require a tank. I made a plastic tank somewhere. There we go. Maybe this. I don't know if our pipes will attach to this. Yep, that's cool. That'll work. All right. So for the moment, where did I have this coming out? Okay, we'll go to here. And I think I'll just place the tank there. So once we do get it, I don't know what the plastic tank does actually. Does it actually work? Holds up to four buckets of whatever. Okay. So then eventually we can like extract out of there and we will get stuff here um, we do need to get to power to this one I'm trying to work out the best way of doing that probably under water here and we're gonna have to go around that now so we'll have to make uh, that's all right make some more cables all right Grab. Make a few more cables. All right. Before we go back out there, we've got the rancher. Yes. We needed to make these: a ground trap and a water trap. So the ground trap. Oh, sorry. The water trap is with a fishing rod. The ground trap is with an oak trap door. So we've made both of them. 
And that should get us the It's a Trap one. We're going to get some bait. Which is cool. And we can take our water trap. And we can place him... I'm going to place it... There. And I'm... Going to have lost some of the bait. <laughs> Whether it's on the floor in here. Nope, so this pack doesn't have... Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. I lost the bait. Oh, hang on. There's a veggie one. Oh, there it is. That's the one I want. Um, put them in there. Okay. So if I come over here and place fish bait in here, I wonder if I can... I wonder. We'll see what happens with that. I don't know whether that will... whether that will actually work. Looks like it's not time again. Let's just put our... ground trap somewhere. I don't know if this is going to work. So, yep. Okay. Getting there. Working our way through these quests. Very slowly, but we're working through them. A lot of MFR at the moment. Uh, let's check what's next. So that's a lot of those things. We're now going to basically need to get 640 cows. 600, yeah, like, there's a lot. Um, and then we've got these other bits and pieces here. We'll need to get to the meat grinder. Um, but let's quickly go back to here and go cutting board, skillet, saucepan, pot. Okay, we'll find if we can do that. Cutting. Stick iron. Okay, I just need a stick. There we go. Cutting board. Need another stick. Cutting wood skillet. Saucepan and pot. Caps lock again. Need another stick. What a shock. Really, um, getting a lot of items here. What do I want you for? Pistons were, were for a reason. I just don't know what it was. Oh, actually, I think I do remember what it was. Um, pot. Pan. I think that was all we needed. Really? Yay! We've unlocked the Apocalypse Kitchen Quest Tree. And we will actually receive a ton of things. At least four items, anyway. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of things for that quest. So let's throw a couple of items away. I don't really need them. You can go in there. Uh, let's hand it in. Claim. You can see here this one. Oh, there is some here. It's not completely empty. But the kitchen stuff. And then what was the last one here? Foundry. Alright. We'll need to make a few of these things. Probably next episode, I think. Getting fairly close to the end. Um, what was I going to do? Okay. Uh, back to Mine Factory Reloading. Actually, Mine Fact. Uh, I think it was the Composter. We may need one more machine block. So I'm going to need... going to need... Some stone. It's two. And one more. One more, please. I'm going to need some plastic. 
The compost is going to require three more. And furnace. Awesome. So you, you, gives me some of them. Okay, that gives us a composter. So the idea will be that we will place this here. It will take in the fluid compost, the sewage, and with a bit of power it will make fertilizer. So we can set up a, a little pipe here, uh, an item pipe, so not mechanic, uh, yeah, so I'll need to make some. And it will pull the fertilizer out of here, which so I, I might need to put a chest on it. I'll work that one out. If it needs a chest, I'll put a chest down. And then we'll pull the fertilizer into here and it can fertilize the crops. All from the... Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, actually. I'm going to pick this back up. And I'm going to take it. And I'm going to place it... Here. And the veggie one. Alright. Um, I found out the source of all the noise. There's actually a big open cavern down here. I must have accidentally vein mined at some point. I don't remember doing it, but there was a big cavern down here, so I went down and lit it up. Um, because the zombie noises were getting quite annoying. Out of them. So we're getting there. We're getting a little bit of automation. I need to find some animals now. So that will be one of my next. Actually, we could probably do that now. I've got a few. Let's dump some stuff. And grab. Yeah, you know, you can go in there. Let's grab. I've got a reusable safari net. And I should have a couple of single-use ones. So let's jump... Let's jump to two. There's a pig. One. Where's my second piggy? I don't know about the chickens at the moment. Definitely want some cows. I want another pig. Don't want horses. tiger in there. You can stay in there, buddy. There's a pig. Two of you. And let's grab a couple of sheep. Brilliant. Alright, so these guys here, we're going to waste these single-use ones, but I've got them in chests anyway, so it's not it's like I've, I'm wasting any resources with that. So I should now be able to go... And I hope they don't get out. I can keep reusing this one. Okay, now with power... H how did you get... Shit. That does does no oh, oh no it has power in it. I was gonna say how'd you get sheared? Uh, this should be collecting sewage. Here we go. We're getting sewage up in here, it's going through the tank as a buffer. And we're getting some sewage up in here, so I need to connect all this up. This will also that one there is working, so let's have a look at grabbing I don't know, some wheat and some carrots. If I put wheat in here, and carrots, ideally this will breed them. Hey, there we go. Hopefully they will get little babies. This one's not powered at the moment, but if it was powered, they would extract those babies into this half. So a little bit of work to do for our little farm here. Once we're done, we will work on probably the slaughterhouse. It sounds terrible, but probably the slaughterhouse over here. Um, but yeah, work for between episodes. I'm going to wrap it up here. We are over time. 
I'm going to grab my power conduits. I'm going to hook this up. But for the meantime, thank you for watching. I'm also going to collect some cows in between episodes. Grab a couple of cows and throw them in here as well. So yeah, thank you for watching. Leave your comments in the section below. I know it's been a little bit derpy and I still need to... Oop, hang on, we have an issue. We have experience here. So that's not going to work. I'm going to need something to store this essence stuff in. So I'm going to need a tank of some description. Just for that. So something else I'm going to do in between episodes will be that. I'll make up, uh, I don't know, maybe the, the next one up. Uh, one, two, three, four. So here I am saying I'll do it between episodes and I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so that'll hold 14 buckets. Might be enough for the moment. Let's place you there. There we go. Excellent. So that is going to keep us going. That one's empty. This one can't get to because they're in the way. Cool. Yep. Basic little setup. We've got some stuff ready to run. I just need to run some power cables and we'll be all good. Thank you for watching. Comments below. Catch you in the next one. Bye now.